Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will share with you an unboxing a first look of a probably uh, one of the oldest, maybe not the oldest one that I have, but a really old uh, series of knives uh, uh, from uh, Rough Rider. This is the Coal Miner uh, series and way back uh, I don't know three or four years ago uh, when I started with the brand I bought uh, one of uh, one from the the series which was uh, if I'm not mistaken the half hawk which is still available at the different uh, retailers but this one unfortunately is not so as you can see the the model number which is RR760 which is really really low and I was fortunate that my dealer uh, here in Europe from France, the Couturlari Tourangel, I hope I did not butcher his name, uh, had one in stock, so I immediately uh, bought it when I was looking for uh, a knife that uh, I would like to add to my collection. And uh, yes, uh, as you can see there, uh, this is a, what I would say, a farmer's knife or work, uh, work knife or a large sword buster frame. And uh, there was a little bit of a problem. Uh, let's tackle it at the start of this video. So my previous working knife with a liner lock was the 3347, which is from the Faded Blue Jean series, one of the McCarter series that I have. And Overall, beautiful, beautiful knife. I love the polished micarta, everything, but but the lock is just not working. It's failing, so I was really disappointed, and I did not know, or I speculated that probably is because the the liners are made of the brass and this is a, a, a soft metal, so it just not it does not work, and as you see there, it's not. A force applied to there so that maybe it's not a good thing to to have a have a brass liner lock but when i receive this one this is perfectly safe and really uh, has a really nice lockup you also did see that the pop so yeah uh this is probably only a problem on my piece right here Maybe if you have one of these, uh, let me know under this video, or maybe go watch on the uh, the dedicated video for this knife. But yeah, I just wanted to clear it up that now I know that uh, the brass uh, liner is uh, is okay. We can also probably debate uh, how strong it is because still, in my opinion, if you would apply too much force, but that is excessive amount of force, maybe it probably will snap or just bend. But yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the 760. So obviously, if you see the the blade shape, uh, this is a large swordbuster, but with a lock. Because the swordbuster pattern uh, is patented uh, by Case, but it comes uh, history-wise from a working knife uh, that was developed. I don't know, you probably know in Germany. And I have uh, in my some previous videos, uh, I'm going more in depth of the design. So. If you like to know more, then uh, check out my previous videos. But long story short, uh, Case did patent the Swordbuster, and therefore uh, this knife pattern is called from that point as a Swordbuster. Different companies are making uh, uh, different, uh, uh, came up with different names. So uh, Rough Rider for this one is using the work knife, which is uh, probably the time period correct name of the. The design and also it was used predominantly by farmers or workers so uh, to uh, to make their lives a little bit uh, uh, better or easier okay so let's see the specification so we have a over length of 21.3 centimeters this is 8.4 inches the blade length is 9.4 centimeters or 3.7 inches with a cutting edge of 8.3 centimeters or 3.3 inches uh, the blade thickness is 2.6 millimeters or 0.1 inch. The handle width is, sorry, the 
the, the blade width is 1.8 centimeters or 0 0.7 inches. The hand length is 11.9 centimeters or 1.7 inches with a thickness of 1.2 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches. We have a drop point profile blade, which looks almost uh, as a straight back, but uh, let me demonstrate. It's still a drop point because it is not completely straight, as you can see there. The blade is made out of 440A. It has a beautiful mirror polish with I would probably I would not use this uh, large font and give the series name on the on the blade for later uh, designs a later series uh, they did uh, start with this but yeah it looks like funny like somebody would uh, would engrave their name <laughs> on the blade okay so we have the shoe horseshoe uh, logo stamped in and on this side we have model number made in china n440 razor sharp steel as far as handles go we have a beautiful black uh, jigged bone with the uh, rough rider uh, shield made out of nickel silver also the pins are nickel silver and we have uh, brass uh, pivot uh, pin and like I mentioned, liners, stainless steel backspring, and that is probably everything as far as the materials goes. Okay, so no half stop. Let me show you. So there is no no half stop whatsoever, but it has a really nice walk and talk, so it will snapshot. So great. The weight comes at one hundred ten point seven grams or three point nine ounces. Yeah, it's made in China. And like I mentioned, uh, if you go around and search for them, these could be potentially available on some sites, like maybe eBay or so, but I could not find uh, at the point when I made my notes for the video. But you could be probably lucky like I was when you are uh, search for your local uh, distributor or dealer, then I mean, maybe probably will have some on stock, who knows. But uh, if you would like to experience the, the bone, then check out the, the half hawk, which is the RR1284, uh, which is available. Okay, so price-wise, I don't know how to have the price quote, uh, because they are not available, but uh, these were probably somewhere around uh, around $16 when they were released, Not nothing much more than that. Okay, so now uh, let's see the, the sharpness test right out of the box so really really nice and sharp mm, great okay no so now let's see a few size comparisons so i brought out a few uh, salt busters i have uh, this one is a exclusive from Mazarin, uh, but you can find it uh, with uh, the name of Mazarin Scout, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this configuration was just uh, exclusive for a, a dealer. But here is the Mazarin Scout in D2. Then the Plowbuster, if I'm not mistaken, this is currently available uh, from Boker. It is a Saltbuster Junior sized uh, version of the knife. And then I have here something from uh, Brother Knives. This is the 1512 and it might not be a Saltbuster, but it, it is more probably in the design veins of a, uh, of a uh, trapper, but I have it uh, for your size comparisons and then of course here is the I am I am I am P 22 L which is a large uh, sword buster from Imperial Shred.
okay now compare it with the micarta one there should be on the same side because they are on the same platform or same same pattern As far as smaller go, uh, here is the Wasp uh, small uh, work knife that is that has also the brass liner lock. And now let's continue with uh, more modern knives. So here is the Kaiser Backlighter too, which could be seen as a modern uh, work knife or modern uh, salt buster, if you like. Then here is the paramilitary too. QSP Penguin, sorry, uh, CVV Elementum, QSP Penguin, I was one knife ahead of me here is the red Ontario red model one nine forty from Benchmate Spider Co Endura Is the Berker Plus Bonfire, which is also a uh, trapper design, could also go for a uh, sword buster, modern sword buster, of course. And there's a Kershaw Blur. trying to find the peanut <laughs> it got lost a little bit uh, in the pile of knives that are around me and let's close it down with the Keba Dozier Folding Hunter okay so this was the Rough Rider Coal Miner Work Knife uh, blast from the past and uh, but I'm really happy to uh, be able to include this one in the collection and hopefully uh, uh, soon I will be able to make a, a little nice uh, longer video about all the salt busters that I currently have in my collection so can I share my uh, collection uh, state of collection with you so stay tuned for that with that being said, I would like to wish you a wonderful day. If any questions, please leave comments down below. More than happy to reply as soon as I can, of course. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. A big thumbs up to you. And if you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes that's other stuff regarding my own hobbit, hobbies. With that being said, I would like to wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.